All right, guys, so yeah, we've had a fun week. Nate and his girlfriend were in town. We have had about, what, six-ish months of an off-season for Nate. And I mean, I guess myself too, but yeah. So for, for people who don't know, this is Nate. He is an athlete of mine, uh, part of Team Tua. And we are both actually doing the Summer Shredding Classic here in ten, about 10 weeks now. We actually both competed in the Summer Shredding Classic last year as well in October. Uh, both of us wish we could have done a little bit better, uh, which is <laughs> honestly, it's a good thing because you kind of have like that fire, yeah, you yeah. know, that fire in that off season. And unfortunately- It's tough to win and come back and be like, oh yeah, okay, I'm coming back to this. Yeah, it, like, it, it kind of sucks that we had such short off seasons because of COVID pushing last year's show so late, and then this year's show being pretty much right on time. So, pretty short off season. We had no time to waste. Yeah, none, zero. Um, luckily, like, he's got a great work <laughs> ethic, but we wanted to talk about his off season. I'm gonna kind of like rate it, you know, at, at, like a coach's perspective, kind of rate the off season how it went, and also just talk about like your perspective, like. Uh, what helped you this off season? Give some okay. tips to the peeps and everything like that. Uh, now, disclaimer: uh, Nate is an enhanced athlete, so this past off season he decided to make that leap and um, join the Not Natty Club. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, like I hope everyone knows this: that is no excuse to go easier in the gym. It does not. It does not compensate for like poor work ethic. And in fact, you pretty much have to work harder um, with steroids because you're kind of able to. Exactly. So, yeah, okay, so I wanna hear your thoughts. Like, rate your off season on like a scale of one to 10. Like, what do you think? Okay, so, you know, you're, you're always your, your biggest critic. So um, I would say I would give myself a seven, maybe even a six and a half out of 10. I know that I came in and put in straight up work in the gym, but where that three to three and a half points comes off is definitely outside of the gym. Um, you know, with the, with the dieting and reverse dieting, <clears throat> you know, for those of you that don't know, I lost 70 pounds like last year or over like the entire prep. So as soon as I got off stage, I was like, I am ready to just binge. And then I binged and just continued to binge. And unfortunately that just led to like rapid weight gain. Um, plus throwing in those PEDs, just more weight gain. And so that really messed with my mind a lot. Like <clears throat> it made me it made me feel very self-conscious and like, oh, am I gonna be ready to compete again? Do I need to just take this next year off? You know, so for me I would definitely say it was uh, not the optimal off season. But when I'm telling you I came into the gym ready to freaking work and, and get better and improve, that's what I did every day. The mindset that I came in with every single day was this two and a half hour period or whatever, however long I'm at the gym, I'm coming in and I'm absolutely destroying it. Yeah, so I think like what I really wanna talk about here is how to get the most out of your off season. And I think Nate did a good job of like doing what he could with what he had. You know, we already talked about obviously like the, dur the duration was not in your favor. Correct. Is a bit out of your control. So mm -hmm. that's one thing we could have done better is like had a longer off season, but you know, sometimes you just can't control yeah. that. Um, you could have taken this year off, but like sometimes you just don't want to do that. No, you definitely. Don't. I already talked about that in my last video. Like sometimes you know it's a smarter decision, but it doesn't mean it's always the like the right decision for you. So um, I understand that. That's some, that's one thing we could have done better. Um, another thing is like getting the most out of your off season is making sure that your off season is as long as possible. Not in like in the sense of like hoping your shows are farther apart, but yeah. like like kind of what you're talking about with your diet is if you do gain too much weight then you have to start your prep earlier. Way earlier, yeah. And so, so you can lose it all. So if you would have been a bit tighter on the diet, you would have been able to extend your growth phase Correct. a little bit longer yep. with the time that you've had. Um, so for that reason, like I think I'd give you like an eight out of 10. If I give you the training, I would I would probably give you a 10 out of 10. Like yeah. I don't think his training could have been any better. Yeah. Uh, what we did here, so a few training tips, is we kind of cycled through focusing on on uh, muscle groups that we think he needed to focus on. Yeah. So there was a while where we were doing like uh, focusing on back for like a, a mesocycle, um, a lot of chest focused yep. mesocycles, yep. even put an arm mesocycle in there. We put some well-rounded mesocycles in there so we weren't necessarily focusing on More. any certain muscle group, but just kind of keeping it all around. Um, I do that for a few reasons, just to kind of like help um, your recovery mm -hmm. and not like hammer one muscle group too much. If we always focus on your shoulders or chest or something like that, there's a good chance like you could 
get kind of a hurt shoulder. Yeah, for just sure. Just build up a little bit too much volume. Yeah. So I was I was thinking like long term, we don't want that because uh, that'll slow down your progress. So we were constantly like cycling through. I would say like like intelligent programming for your body specifically, and then other than that, it's up to Nate to go hard, and he <laughs> was so consistently hitting like you know seven, eight, even nine um, on the RPE scale of like lifting sessions. Yeah. Always, you know, showing up for himself in the gym. And that being said, even with your diet, like yes, maybe you, you gained a little bit too much, um, a little too quickly, yeah. but at least like you were getting calories in, at least you were hitting your protein. Yeah. So in that regards, I think you still built pretty much as um, as optimal amount Correct. of muscle as yes. you could have. Yeah. So it was just with, a, yeah, with that diet specifically, like I built yeah as much muscle as could be possibly built in that amount of time. Yeah, it, so the diet wasn't, that, that's important to, to, I think, note, because like, if you're still hitting your protein, I mean, that's good. Because mm -hmm. if you're eating just like freaking donuts, like you can, you can eat 6,000 calories of donuts and gain a whole lot of fat and you're not gonna build a lot of muscle. Yeah. But if you're still eating high protein, yeah, yeah still put on a little bit too much fat, but at least you're still building muscle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a few tips there, I guess. Like get the most out of your off season by hopefully just having enough time, but then extending it as long as possible by not having to lose as much in the end. Yes. Um, and then just train freaking hard, basically. Yeah, just go freaking hard in the gym. I mean, yeah, my biggest piece of advice for anybody who is like a first time competitor and like, you know, it's fun to go through the prep, but the hardest time is right after prep. Or right after that show, you step off stage and like, you know, you're like, wow, I'm free. You're not really, it, well, depending on your goals, you're not really free. You're just more, you have more variety. Um, you still got to stay in the, the mentality and what's crazy is like, you know I kind of like came back around and I would come back into the mentality and of like, oh shoot I actually have to be ready for a show again. It took me a year to lose 70 pounds I don't want to have to do another year-long prep. I don't want to have to do another six-month prep so like my biggest piece of advice is definitely Reverse if you, I mean if at all possible reverse diet properly because it helps you so much to build better quality muscle feel better about yourself and then you don't have exactly like what he said you don't have to go back on prep 28 weeks out you know what I mean you can go on prep at 16 weeks out and still look and, and look better look bigger fuller you know yeah have in, in that scenario have 12 weeks hypothetically of more building exactly which, I mean that's yeah. a lot yeah. So, and uh, I mean, yes, being with PEDs has helped them, you know, build a little bit more muscle and not lose as much while dieting or lose anything while dieting. <laughs> but that being said, even with PED use, you will get more out of it if you're in a surplus. Correct. Uh, so, it, yeah, it doesn't, it's, it's, that's a big thing. It's like, you can't use PEDs as a crutch. You For can't sure. be like, oh, I'm fat and I don't know how to work <laughs> hard. So these steroids will save the day and yeah. do everything for me. Like, absolutely not. So uh, altogether though, like, I think it was big um, learning, you know. Oh, for sure, yeah. Learning experience and also just like having that mindset that you're a bodybuilder all the time, not just Correct. on prep. Correct. Because yeah. even when the show ends, like, yeah, you know, you, you get to be looser, you don't have to be mm. as strict and things like that, but like, you got to remember that you're still setting yourself up to exactly. succeed for that next show. Exactly. So, yeah, guys, uh, that hopefully those, these tips kind of help you in your own off season. And the off season is like, they, they call it like the, the growing season, the growth season. Yeah. Um, it's super important, you know, like your success on stage isn't just about like that 12, 16, 20 week prep. It's like what you're doing before then yeah. to set yourself, so yeah. set yourself up. Uh, we actually plan on talking a lot about PED use and, and steroid use in the Tua podcast episode that we're um, gonna record. So make sure to check that out. By the time you're watching this, we are live on Spotify, Anchor, pretty much every other podcast platform, and maybe iTunes, still waiting on that one. <laughs> Shout out uh, iTunes. So yeah, check out the Tua cast, and then you're gonna be able to hear a lot more about like what we're doing with this PED use, um, how we've created your cycles. Yeah. Like, we're gonna talk about everything. It's gonna be so, fun. If you're interested fun. in that, like this is gonna be a good episode. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Peace, Peace. out.